All right, so how's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. And today we're taking a look at the AMD's Ryzen 5 7600 and my thoughts and two cents around this CPU. And let me tell you, this is not the best budget CPU out there. I really don't like how this CPU goes uh, just out of the bat because it really doesn't give you any good value because it's a brand new uh, socket. And there are other CPUs that are worth getting, in my opinion. So without wasting any more time, like that video if it's helpful, and let's get to why. All right, so the Ryzen 5 7600 is a six. -core 12 threaded CPU that's aimed to compete with the 13600K. Uh, from the pricing, it's more of a CPU to compete with the i5 12500. Comes with a stock cooler, but we're not gonna use this uh, trash. Uh, well, the Ryzen 5 7600 is a six core 12 threaded CPU that goes for $230 and it comes with a stock cooler, and we're still not gonna use this trash because, unlike uh, the higher end CPUs, the Ryzen 5 7600 is a very bad CPU when it comes to uh, working with a Wraith to stealth, I mean. I mean, when you run Cinebench, you, this CPU is going to peak at around 90 degrees. And that's actually very hot when you convert the 7700 with the Wraith Spire, which is the higher end cooler. It doesn't even go near 80 degrees, which shows you how good the other high end CPU coolers are. So this is one of the biggest disadvantages that the Ryzen 5 7600, the cooler with it, is not usable at all. Now, yeah, this is one of the main things when it comes to the other things, which is like the productivity test. When you compare it to the 13600K, the 13600K, like... Uh, takes the 7600 non-x for a ride it's a very good cpu a very good one in terms of actual benchmarks and it's not a competitive price and let me explain to you why for example if you want to go with a 13600k and another cooler and uh, maybe a b660 m board which is a cheap board or a b760 m board even it's gonna be for a lot cheaper than the Ryzen 5 7600 and would still perform the same in gaming or multitasking actually miles better. But if we're looking at the CPU to compete with it, which is the i5-13500 and a B660M board, that's like $250 with a cooler of course, and the cheaper 32GB DDR4 RAM. So the total cost will be around $420. Unlike the Ryzen 5 7600, the cheapest cost for a whole PC to run is around $500. 50. So we're looking at around $100 to $200 difference for only, I believe, 10% difference in gaming when used with the RTX 4090. So if you went with a GPU cheaper, like a 4080 or a 4070 Ti even, you wouldn't find this big of a gap. And this is uh, what the i5-13500, in my opinion, is aimed towards. It's aimed towards the 4080, 4070 Ti, where you're going to get the major uh, CPU, GPU performance. I know there are a lot of Team Red uh people out there but i guess it makes more th sense to spend the extra money on a ryzen 7 7700 or a 7700 x even which i will actually perform better in gaming and productivity so yeah i put the ryzen 7600 in a really weird spot with all the actual pricing of it uh the very expensive boards the cheapest board right now goes for 150 dollars and of course the expenses of ddr5 ram which is i believe 60 dollars more expensive than ddr4 which will never make up for a good budget system System, and the whole PC in general will never make up for a good high-end system because it's not a high-end CPU that's an entry-level CPU to AM5 that's why I really don't like the Ryzen 5 7600 and uh, this is my biggest complaint with it this is now a really bad spot so yeah that's been it if you like the video press on that like button and if you want to see more videos of that kind subscribe if you have any more opinions leave it down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one peace